You're normal. Yes, I am. Mom's normal. I can go wrong. I'm different. I can see. I hear staples in my head. Oh, wait. And we're live. I think, video. <laughs> I think, I think that was in the start of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Anyways, welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the Post Your YouTube channel and show us that Post Your That's it. Uh, this is Rowan. Tonight we are reading Second Kings chapter 22. Welcome to a moment of joy. I don't think so. I, I changed the words. There's no copyright strike. And it wasn't... Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Copyright strike for Randy Orton's music. Okay. Second Kings is about a third of the way into the Bible. It comes after First Kings and before First Chronicles. Okay, let's read chapter 22. Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 31 years. His mother's name was Jedidah, daughter of Adahiah. She was from Bosgath. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, followed completely the ways of his father David, not turning aside to the right or to the left. In the eighteenth year of his reign, King Josiah sent the secretary, Shaphan, son of Azaliah, the son of Meshulam, to the temple of the Lord. He said, Go to Hilkiah the high priest and have him get ready the money that has been brought into the temple of the Lord, which the doorkeepers have collected from the people. Had them entrusted to the man appointed to supervise the work of the temple, and have the men pay the workers who repair the temple of the Lord, the carpenters, the builders, the masons. Also have them purchase timber and dress stone to repair the temple. But they need not account for the money entrusted to them, because they are honest in their dealings. Hilkiah the high priest said to Zareph the secretary, I have found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. He gave it to Shephan, who read it. Then Shephan the secretary went to the king and reported it to him. Your officials have paid for the money that was in the temple of the Lord, and have entrusted the workers and supervisors at the temple. Then Shephan the secretary informed the king, Hilkiah the priest has given me a book, and Shephan read it to in the presence of the king. When the king heard the words of the, the book of the law, he tore his robes. He gave these orders to Hilkiah the priest, Ahakam, son of Shephath, Achor, son of Micaiah, Shaphan, the secretary, and Asiah, the king's attendant, go and inquire of the Lord for me, and for the people, and for all Judah, about what is written in the book that has been found. Great is the Lord's anger that burns against us, because those who hear, no, those who have gone before us have not obeyed the words in of this book. They have not acted in accordance with all that is written there concerning us. Hilkiah the priest, Ahakam, Abhor, Shaphan, Asiah, went to speak to the prophet Huldah, who was the wife of Shalom, and Tikva, the son of Haras, keeper of the wardrobe. She lived in Jerusalem in the new quarter. She said to him, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Tell the man who sent you to me, This is what the Lord says. I am going to bring disaster on this place and its people, according to everything written in the book the king of Judah has read, because they have forsaken me and burn incense to other gods, and arouse my anger by all the idols their hands have made. My anger will burn against this place, and will not be quenched. Tell the king of Judah, 
who sent you to inquire of the Lord. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says concerning the words you have heard. Because your heart was responsive, and you humbled yourself before the Lord, when you heard what I have spoken against this place and its people, that they would become a curse and be laid waste, and because you tore your robes and wept in my presence, I also have heard you, declares the Lord. Therefore, I will gather you and your ancestors, and you will be buried in peace. Your eyes will not see all the disaster I am going to bring on this place. So they took the answer back to the king. Any questions? No. Nothing stand out to you? No. One thing that stands out to me is the prophet was a lady. Hmm. Right? I mean, this is Old Testament. This is during basically tribal times. This is like, this is a fairly big deal. This shows that God will use all people for all things. You know. I, 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 yeah, there, there's a lesson there to be learned. Because God, God can use you. I don't know who you, who you are, whoever's out there listening. God can use you for His purpose, and He will use you to spread His word. So yeah. Anyways, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you give us. We thank you for your word. We thank you that it isn't lost in a temple someplace and we don't have to go years without hearing it, but that we can just access it so easily. And we pray that we read, and not only read, but obey the word of the Lord, the law of your Lord. We thank you for it. And we thank you for its accessibility. And we praise you in all things. This we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay, if you have any questions... Please ask them, and we will answer them. And we will see you, no, tomorrow's Thursday, right? Rowan will see you tomorrow evening at 8.30. I will be doing music at 7 over at 67 Queen Street, so you're welcome to come out and jam with us. Or you can join us online here at 8.30 for another moment of joy. So we'll see you tomorrow evening. Bye-bye.